A perfectly working disc brake bike can be a dream to ride. However, if you've got a rubbing disc brake, it's quite possibly the most annoying thing in the whole world. Okay, maybe not the whole world, but you know what I mean. But if you do have a rubbing disc brake, chances are it could be caused by a bent rotor. So here's a quick guide for how to straighten a disc brake rotor. First step is to fit your bike into a work stand like this. Now, if you don't have a work stand, it's one of the few occasions I'll be able to forgive you for flipping your bike upside down, and you should still be able to do this job just fine. Slowly spin the wheel that you think is causing the rubbing noise, and then look down through the caliper to see if the disc rotor is buckled. It's a similar process to how you would check for a buckled wheel. Once you've identified the area that is bent, we can then move to slightly bending it back into line with the rest of the rotor. And to do this, you could use a dedicated tool such as the Park Tools DT-2, which is a rotor alignment tool. And it kind of looks a little bit similar to a tuning fork. Although if you don't have the correct tool like that, you could just use an adjustable spanner such as this. This is uh, aptly named the PAW-6. Hmm, who thought? But if you are going to use an adjustable spanner like this, make sure that before you put it over your disc brake rotor that it's clean from any grease or oil because, well, after all, grease and brakes don't mix very well together. Slide the tool or your adjustable spanner over the area of disc brake rotor which you need to bend back into place. And then with a little bit of force, push that section of rotor across to where it needs to go. You don't have to apply a lot of force. A little bit of a trial and error will be the best process here. So. A little bit of force to bend that across and then you can remove that off and then spin the wheel and see what effects that has had. At this point, you can then continue to work your way around to any other areas that might be slightly out of shape or continue to get that section a little bit closer to where it should be in the first place. If you're finding that the rotor is bent in lots of different areas and is almost wavy as you're spinning it around, Chances are it means that you've overheated and warped that rotor and it's going to be near impossible to get it back into line 100%. And in most cases, you're going to need to replace that disc brake rotor. So it's probably a trip down to your local bike shop to get yourself a new one. So there you go, that was pretty simple. And that's an example of a maintenance job which we should all be capable of doing. It's just a case of having a little bit of patience and a little bit of practice. So maybe next time you're putting your bike into the car or packing it up to go away on holiday, you'll be a little bit more mindful not to bang and damage those rotors. I hope you enjoyed this maintenance video and found it helpful. And if you have, please let me know in the comments section down below. And if there's any other maintenance videos you'd like to see, well, let me know down there as well. And for more tech videos like this, subscribe to GCN Tech.